What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. We are doing a... Uh... Ooh, Sir Rolf. Ooh, but Agar. Guys, let me know in the chat if it's Agar or Sir Rolf. Oh my god, two years of subbing? Dan, you are awesome. I'm so glad we're friends, Dan. I think it's Agar. The bear. <laughs> oh boy. I think it's Agar. Like, Agar says, whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess damage, if a giant wizard or spell dealt that damage, draw a card. So basically, every time you, you kill one of their creatures uh, with a giant, a spell, or a wizard, you're drawing a card. Yeah, we're going to take Agar. Oh, Glimpse the Cosmos? As long as you can control, control a giant, you may cast this from your graveyard by paying a, a blue. Oh, boy. Wow. That's pretty good. Giant-centric draft so far, guys. Bark Channel is blue-green. Hmm. Frenzied Raider. 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you activate a boast ability, put a one on counter on it. Okay, this pack is not that exciting. It might just be Immerstrom Raider. Um. <laughs> oh, sweet Michael Bees. Discard a card, draw a card. I mean... I don't foresee us boasting that much. I'll just take the Raider. I don't think it's great. It's a really bad pick three, but... Oh, Frostbite, though. Jeez. And then it all turns around. I mean, that's pretty good. If this Kinseeker comes back, I'll be grateful for the Snow-Covered Mountain. Hmm. Don't care about Pilfering Hawk. Firewalker could be fine, but also Runamuck could be fine, too. I think I just want the Runamuck. Double Frenzied Raider, but, like, again, we're not really boasting. <laughs> There's not that many creatures with boast. I'll we'll just take the Runamuck. Sure. I mean, reason being with Agar, like, if you have a 3-3, three, three, they have a 3... Oh my god, another Frenzy Trader? Mistwalker is a giant, which is kind of cool. This deals 2 damage, and you scry to... It deals 2 damage to each creature, actually. Yeah, I'm going to take the, the Sirtland Frostpire. I really like Mistcaller, especially because it is a giant, but... It's just the part of the realm here. Snow Covered Mountain's cool, but having a bounce spell is nice. It is an expensive pyroclasm, but you do get to scry. And it's also on a land, so that's okay. What up, Zimini Pot? Oh, look, we get another Miss Walker anyway. I wonder if there's going to be any giants in these giant packs. In these Coldheim packs. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let your Kin Seekers comes back. Deal. 
Oh, uh, I like having a run ashore. Curves look pretty decent. Fortunately, not Mist Walker. It's true. It's true. Yeah, this pack is not exciting. I'll just take Vault Robber. I'm not going to play Vault Robber. Look at all those chickens. Oh, another Kin Seeker? Actually, maybe this was, uh... Maybe this was the one I wanted to come back. And the Snow-Covered Mountain came back as well. I'll take an Alpine Meadow. I'll take another Immerstrom Raider. Yeah, Michael hurt his little back. I got my I hurt my little sciatic nerve. Oh, another frostbite. I think another frostbite's probably better than Augury Raven. I do like an Augury Raven though. Yeah, we'll just take the frostbite though. Uh, Frostbite Arcanist is a giant and a wizard. Search library for an instant or source with the same name. Yeah, this is this is definitely the pick. Oh. <sighs> yeah, Augur Ravens Raven seems great here. I mean, look, when I asked for Giants, Cinderheart Giant was not what I was asking for. That guy's just a little too expensive. Also, unfortunately, he's like the only card in this pack that we even remotely would play, so... <laughs> Another Augury Raven. In lieu of removal, I'm just going to take the birds. Yeah, I also saw the Vol Volatile Fjord, I think it's called. But uh, I wasn't going to take that over a Frostbite. Another Frostbite. Okay. I mean, now I'm going to probably value uh, lands a little bit higher. I'll, I'll, because, I mean, Frostbite needs three snow permanents. And none of these are actually snowy boys. does count creatures as well we don't have any creatures either i'd like to see some berg striders for crying out loud if the blue red land comes back i'm gonna be pretty grateful I mean, Yeti's fine. What's our four drop look like? Raven Wings is also okay, but this guy's being a snow permanent actually puts him a little bit further ahead in my book. 
Uh, I don't care about any of these cards. I'm just going to take the run amok. Oh, another bird. We're going to get in there with the ravens. I mean, worst case scenario, we can even play the Alpine Meadow. It's just a land that comes into play tapped. Sure. Seeing a lot of repeats coming around. Hmm. That's a sweet one. Not really, though. God, this pack is not great either. Jeez, Ice Tunnel is like the best card for us. I mean, I kind of like saw it coming, but I don't think it's that great. Tormentor's Helm also fine, but I don't want to first pick it. I'm just taking the counter spell, I guess, but oh, this is not this is not an ideal pack. Draw a card with a real giant from your hand when you do innovation just to the next giant you cast costs two less. I mean, I guess this is fine for two mana. Provoke the Troll is also not terrible. But we do have three Frostbites right now. So I'd kind of like... Uh, I like the Scry too. I like the draw card. Plus we can cast Cinderheart on like turn five or something. Icebind Pillar seems great. What are the odds we're going to get enough snow lands to actually use it, though? Hmm. I think it might just be Snow Covered Mountain here. Or Replicating Ring. Let's go with the Mountain. This is a Narfi. These packs have not been kind to us, unfortunately. I mean, I've seen like zero bird striders, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, I'm just going to take the Narfi. I mean, it's got to be better than Pilfering Hawk there, right? Oh, there's a bird strider. And also another Frostpire Arcanist. I've also seen zero Demon Bolts and zero Squashes. So it's kind of a weird draft. I think the 4-4 four four is probably better than the second 2-5. Four 4-4 four for 6. When there's Battlefield Creatures, you can trigger plus 1, plus 1 haste. So it does count itself. I think I'd rather just have a second Mistwalker, to be quite honest. Oh, another Bergstrider. Now we're talking. Another Frost Peak Yeti. Another Invasion. I'll take Invasion. It's just drawing us cards at this point. we're pretty much locked into whatever whatever this is that we have pretty sure we're just going to play Alpine Meadow for uh, for the sake of Frost I don't think we can hit we have one two actually we did get double Burst Strider I wonder if Reflections is any good naming Giant. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we can probably get rid of Frost Peak Yeti. Not super impressive, and we already have 
Several other. We can get Draugr out of here. Oh, the Frostbite Arcanist came back? That's kind of cool. So we need three cuts. Um, I don't care about Saw It coming or Seize the Spoils. Take out one raider. So this seems good. I mean, it seems okay. <laughs> Like, how many giant cards do we have to reveal? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thank you. Oh, see in quotes. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I'll keep this. Send her a giant's a little rough, but double augury raven means we do have things to do on turn two and turn three. And then on turn four, if we draw the land, or two lands, rather. So this isn't bad. Turn three Raven, turn four Raven. That's so Raven. That guy's dead. Not even, don't even hesitate to kill that thing. All right, now we have six power in the air. I like it. You got it. Thank you. Oh, big fuzzy nerd. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Congrats on our sub, baby. I kind of just want this guy because we have enough power on board that I don't need the Bergstrider, and Bergstrider can tap down a blocker so we can get in.
I mean, we didn't see anything. We saw Inga 3-2, and that was pretty much it. So one down. Seems fine. Raiders just, I mean like Raiders not super great, but it's kind of nice to just have to smooth out your draws later in the game where you're like, okay, cool, I have an extra land. I can turn it into another card. This is a snap keep, so. Do they go to five? It's not ideal. Again, solid timing, Alpine Meadow. Solid timing. Appreciate you. You see this coming? No. Okay. Are they just gonna do big loots? Oh, they're gonna do big broken arrows. Well, broken wings, I guess. Like scry two here, discard a land, draw a card. No creatures, but we do have a lot of things. I think both of these are fine, actually. Seeker's letting us. Oh, well, that's that's a thing. Wow, that's a thing. All right. as indestructible okay well we're probably gonna block it okay. 
You got frostbite? That'd be pretty good. I'd be impressed. But you did not. Okay, so this costs two now, which is fantastic. You get the scry bottom you. Land. What tell you? Boy, I foretell you what. No attacks. I mean, this Valkyrie can get quite big, so we're going to have to bounce it, but I don't know how we're going to deal with it in the long term, especially with the Toski out. I did not show the chat the new fake euro you made. But that's funny. You're a funny guy. Take two. This is really not a hard. What? Deal. Like that. Like, if they draw land here, aren't they just very close to dead? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they're not dead. They do need to draw something here. Battlefield. They have one, two, three, four, five mana. I mean, this guy's got to just be better than the other guy, right? Because it's going to let us scry as well. second time which is very very good um Not bad. Not. Did you have fun? I did. 
I did. I don't know why. I don't know why you'd ask me that, but. Oh, Titanoth Rex. All right, not bad. Round dose. I actually hate this. I mean, Raider has a lot of good... Uh, this is basically like having a, a hand with one fewer islands in it. Oh, what up, Shua Garner? Junior, what's the hold up here? What's the hold up? Oh, they went to five, so they're like, What cards do I throw away? Well, that's not ideal. That's actually pretty good because we can play that and play Invasion of the Giants. Just hoping we hit a giant, I guess. If we don't, with what doesn't deal them too. Okay, probably just gonna play that guy. I guess we're just playing Raven here. That's so Raven. Oh boy. Mono giant action. Well, I'm not gonna get in there with, I'm not gonna tangle with that guy. Don't care about you, you're fine though. Actually, are you any good if we only have a giant wizard and a bird? Yeah, you're still fine. It's a free card next turn anyway, so. I did go somewhere even though you said not to. You know what, Chanel? I think I'm going to forgive you. We've just been through too much, you know? Cheeseburg Strider. Draw an extra card. Reel this guy. Two to your Faccio. Uh, bounce both of these guys, I guess. Seems decent. Which one's going on top?
Did they not keep the birdie boy? That's surprising. So next turn, this costs two less. So we can play this, this, and this. And we get to draw a card, and we'll get to scry two. I don't love playing this when I don't get to scry, but that's fine. play this first to make sure we have a giant tree. Maybe. Oh, and we do. Bottom you, top you. I almost, I don't even, actually almost didn't even want to play this because next turn we can play Mistwalker and play this. No, we won't have enough mana then. We do get a free card out of it, though. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's just better to have this guy on board as 2-4. I think it's totally fine. I mean, they're going to 4 after this prox, so it's basically, they're basically dead. That's actually great because they don't have a creature in their graveyard, so that's cool. Okay. I was excited about drawing the card even though we won the game. So. Um, we didn't really see much. We saw Changeling and we saw Troll and Burgstrider. I'm pretty sure that's like basically it. My eyes is itching, and I don't know why. So I'm going to keep rubbing it. Man, after getting LASIK, you get real self-conscious about rubbing your eye. Because when you get LASIK, they actually, like, razor blade open your cornea. And then I flip it back over. So I'm always like, this is going to rip it off again. What if it hasn't healed all the way? Uh, this hand seems very good. Mm. 
mono birds. Oh god, mono birds is right. Jeez. He wasn't kidding. I'd really love one more land. Thank you. Okay, I like that. Ben, big card. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Two years. Really appreciate it, my dude. God, time goes, time goes fast. Triple forest? Ooh, that doesn't seem great. That's better. Man, I was really hoping for a land here. This cost one less. I think we're going to Raven here. Getting Frostbite in the graveyard is actually pretty sweet with Frostpire Arcanist. You just get a free Frostbolt. Frostbite. It's old Bergy boy. It's old Cheese Burgle. Come on, land. Uh -oh. Get off. Get off. Man, talk about talk about this glittering glittering frost saving them. And I was really hoping to smash into their, their Bergstrider with our Agar and then run amok. Why is this still costing four? Is it not going to change till my next turn? That's really weird. It costs one less if you control a giant or... I don't. What? Mono bird control. I think attack for eight here. That's half our life total. Oh, looks like that's what they're gonna do. Four, five, six. I think he'll okay, that's fine because it means we're not dead on board even if they pump next turn. Oh, for fuck's sake. oh dear. 
Oh, that's pretty good. And Frostbite not dealing three in this in these matches is pretty good. Jeez. So if we attack for six, we can kill them next turn with the birds. We just have to survive. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we might be dead here. Okay, well, if they can get rid of this guy, we're dead. Well, that probably kills us already, right? Maybe not? Are we going to combat? Okay, block of 4-4. Four, four. Three. Tap out for something stupid. Oh, they didn't. Double frostbite.
definitely keeping this hand. So next up we can go Raider into Invasion. Ideally we'll draw something worth discarding. <laughs> Is that... Or we don't. Or we don't draw anything worth discarding and then it's just also fine. Well, I'm not blocking this guy. I got a Raider for this. Getting rid of Mountain here and playing the Frost Pyre. I think Frost Pyre is probably decent against them. Are they missing a land? I imagine they're missing a land. You only drop Valky that soon if you're just not expecting to get to seven mana. Missing land drops is not ideal. We could have played Invasion of the Giants here, found another land, and then played uh, Sirtland Frostpire to kill all of their creatures. Oh, this is fucking exhausting. Why even made me sh made me search? Oh boy! Uh, yeah, no attacks. If they end up killing our Frost Pyre Arcanist, I just don't really want to get nugged and go to four. This is actually kind of surprising because the land here for us is very good. I 
mean, he kills all three of their guys. That's fine. It doesn't remove a blocker, and if they want to play, like, a big guy and then axe guard cavalry it, it's whatever. Actually, that's fine. We have a 2 5. Oh, that worked out quite well, actually, so that's pretty good. Hmm. One land, and we can take out three of their fucking creatures. Oh, boy. They can go 1 2, activate 1 2. Yeah, this is fine. We have to start putting some pressure on them. We tap this guy because, I mean, it's not that much better than. This guy's not that much better, and if they play like a 6 6, I don't really want their big guy to get haste, so. Something's happening. Four four. Sounds good. Interesting. What color is this? Blue? Huh. It's more important getting their blue or their black. Oh 
on land. That's a good one. Seems pretty relevant. Uh, definitely keeping glimpse, bottoming that. Alright. They're one Augury Raven attack away from their death. And they only have one snow land, so... Even if they make two snow lands that, like, taps them out, we get to block one, we go to five, so... <laughs> Okie dokie, nerd choky. Bergy boy on top. Island on the bottom. Man, the Cinderhar Giant. Actually, the Cinderhar Giant comes down when we uh, read the third chapter of Invasion of the Giants. So they're just dead. This is just their. Sounds good. They were like, I was hoping you wouldn't block. And I was like, but I did block. Ooh, a Cercara. All right, let's see if we can 3-0 here. Do we lose if we don't block? No, we got a 1. But there's, like, no incentive not to. I mean, we have a 2-5, they have 4-4, four, four, so, like, there's literally no zero reason not to block. I don't care about the Alpine Meadow. I don't care about the second Mistwalker either, to be quite honest. Like, next time we just play Mistwalker, this guy costs less. Hopefully, I mean, I just kind of want to draw a Frostbite so we can Mistwalker, Frostbite, and then Frostpire Arcanist to get it back. I have three in the deck. Good. Oh, the frostbite is there. That's exactly what we wanted. That's hilarious. Nice 
Nicely done, Frostbite. Nicely done. Y'all remember Wesley Willis? Obviously. Rock over London. Rock on Chicago. Arby's. We got the meats. I don't know. I don't know the Arby's slogan, but... Burger King. Have it your way. Rip Wesley Wills. Actually, this guy costs two, so next turn we can go Frostbite. Arcanist Frostbite? Oh, that seems pretty sweet. MTG. This beast attacked my brother. It stabbed him in the ass while he was in the cold. His hands were frostbitten. His hands were also numb. Wesley Willis was a giant among men. Actually, both of these seem good. Thank you. Oh yeah, that seems actually really good. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just gonna hold back here. Oh, Skip from Milwaukee. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Got to end turn. Well, look what we have here. Oh, that card's good. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, you got it. I mean, we only did this because it was an extra, like, 16 damage, but truth be told, like... 
Oh, we actually didn't even draw the card. Wow. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, no, you're right. I don't know who I'm talking to there. But, like, the point is... Oh, God, that's so discouraging. Wow. I didn't deal extra damage to the creature. I dealt exact damage. So then I didn't get to draw the card. So, ugh, that was terrible. Yeah, that was me, like, completely overlooking the fact... Oh, man, we could have drawn a card? Oh, God. Wait, we have... I mean, this is pretty good. <laughs> well, we don't have a giant in hand, but... We're definitely going to four for one them, so that, that's cool. Um, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't need to land. I'll keep the bird, though, and draw the bird. Um, do we want anyone attacking? Yeah, I'll actually attack with this guy. If They, they either take two or they trade and we draw a card, so... See, now we're drawing a card. Okay, so we have giant, giant, giant. I don't think we need a third bird. I feel like they have... Uh, I believe we have three ravens and we've just seen all three of them. I kind of don't want to attack with this guy, to be honest with you. I feel like they have the deal five, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. Definitely keeping that on top for now. Huh? So, no attack seems correct here. We don't really have anything that's going to crash through. Okay, okay. Get in there, my little bird friend.
dance all day. Oh, how many do we have? All three of them are in there, huh? Well, I'm okay with having six power in the air when they're at 12. That works for me. Oh, we got the good game. I mean, we can also just alpha next turn. Oh, no, we can't. We can pretend to alpha. I might just want Saw it coming. Like, they're slow enough that it's like, it doesn't seem like a huge deal. That run amok turn was pretty messy. Like, we could have drawn a card, kept run amok in hand. How many creatures do we have? 14? Our deck seems pretty sweet. I mean, just because we, we saw two six-mana giants, which I think saw it coming is pretty good against. We'll just submit, like, 41. Oh, man, are we going to 3-0? Oh, this, this looks juicy. Turn two, turn three. I mean, with three Frostbites in our deck, I kind of like being able to play one before I play Frostbite Arcanist, but I'm also not going to just wait <laughs> till we have it. I guess on turn four, we can go Augury Raven. Seems fine. That's, that's a good card. Ah, we always get it. Cosima OP. Oh, she gone. See you later. It's interesting when you first open the Exile Zone, there's no text, then you hover over it, and that's where the text comes in. And you're like, oh. I mean, I think next turn it's just better to play Raven anyway. And then on turn four, we can, or on turn five, rather, we can go Arcanist, second Frostbite. You know, assuming that that works. Hydro Crassus of the Voyage. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, do they have Saw it coming? That'd be wild. Okay. Interesting. Cosima after one turn. Okay. Interesting. They're not recasting Glimpse here.
interesting. Okay. They could have another disdainful stroke as well. That makes sense. Also, why the fuck would you ever leave... Why would you not leave blue red up when this has a friggin' blue ability and it's... That's stupid. Oh man, exiling her again, huh? Now I'm pretty sure they're going to play Glimpse. No. Okay, well they did Glimpse. to attackers. Nothing, huh? Two birds. So this is four, eight. You go three, four. Thank you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We can deal seven. Corey, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Sweet 16. So this is four. We're probably just going to pump ones here because we can't play anything else. And it'll let us draw a card. Yeah, let's draw a card. Like it. Love it. Should have foretold this. For some reason, I was like, well, we didn't leave a blue up, so we can't foretell this. That's not how that works. Coming back. And this card's very good. Cosima's very, very good. Bind the monster. You got it. four cards in hand. It's a lot. Oh, that guy's big. Hmm. 
don't really want to attack with this guy. I have six mana up. I don't understand how you have six mana and five cards in hand. I'm just going to pass and keep up run ashore. Target on my opponent. Yeah, this seems fine. I actually forgot this is the same match where they had two of those guys, so. See, this actually feels good now, because now if they want to play Cosmina, Cosima. And they can't also play the big fat idiot. And their Kasima is now a 2 4 again. So we can attack with Agar and Frostbite. Or we can attack. Like, we can Frostbite either of these things. So. Okay. Okie dokie. we hit a land it's actually really good because we can activate the frost pyre and kill multiple things yeah this is actually really good if they if they let us land oh there it is I think, I think both of those are actually fine in that order. on the card yeah this seems fine like they have no board now and we have four cards in hand this draws us a card this draws us a card this is going to be played for the cheap i think that's pretty good they have two unknowns This guy first. Because oh. 
because then we want to be able to, uh, you don't want to scry and then search. You always want to search first and then scry. Bottom, yeah, we'll keep Saw coming off the top. That seems pretty good. I mean, we're going to be one turn too late because they're going to play Undersea Invader, but I'm not too concerned with that guy. Five it is. Come on. Wow. Unfortunate. Hmm. I honestly think it's like Frostbite, Frostbite, Raven here. three four so we take five here but that's okay we also have six and a half minutes more on the clock yeah no blocks Escape, if your question marks are asking why I was upset, it's because we have Frostbite Arcanist in hand, and that was our last Frostbite. We could have actually searched it out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. Oh, man, we're too shy. Yeah, still gonna play seven, six here. So if they have removal for this, it doesn't. We'll just take five. It's not a big deal. Seems like an easy, easy attack here. <laughs> All right. Well, now they're in top deck mode. play anything good. That's the best card you could have drawn there. That's amazing. Like, we just have to play this guy. We're just hoping they hit land, I guess. They block this, they take one. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Hmm. Mm, that trample. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Like, they have to block with Undersea Invader. And if they block with both, we get to kill their Raven. Maybe. I guess it's 50 50. This guy definitely goes in front. Oh, yeah, I got that biscuit. That was good for us. That was a very good. And we got a saw it coming. I think this game is pretty much locked up now. Um, let's take Birdalicious here. I mean, given one draw, but we have a we have a saw coming in hand, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, I'll take that. Plus, I don't know what they have, so I'm not going to go all in on the Mistwalker and tap out. I guess we wouldn't have one, two, three, four, five, six. Could have still kept up. Uh, okay. 3-0. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh hope you guys will check out twitch.tv slash Frank before and consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel. You can also go to manatraders.com if you're looking to play any of the sweet new legacy and modern decks that have been popping up with Tybalt in them. Manatraders.com is a great way to uh to do that. It's a subscription service, and you can get 15% off with the link and promo code down below. It's a great way to support the channel, so be sure to do that. Uh, two way, whatever. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the, the resub, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna claim my prize. Satisfying six packs and thirty-three thousand gems. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.